Okay, so what cross-contamination is, is when we take something that is pure and is good and we pollute it with something that is harmful and destructive. If you go to a restaurant and someone serves you food that has been cross-contaminated, you can end up with food poisoning or die. And with that being said, the Bible tells us that we cannot serve God and money. However, there are far too many of us within the body of Christ who try to mix our own worldly ambition with serving God. What this is, is cross-contamination. He already told us we cannot serve two masters. So what I'm saying is that we cannot pursue being rich and pursue God at the same time. God promises us that as his children, we would always have what we need, enough. And he also tries to teach us to learn to be content no matter how much we have. The problem is that we live in a world that always teaches us to pursue more. This is why so many of us as believers take our eyes off of God. We're living in a time where instead of the church purifying the world, we're being contaminated by the world. And so many of us within the church are pursuing all of the same things that the world is pursuing. We need to care more about identifying our spiritual gifts so that we can impact this world for the kingdom of God. There is far too many of us who love money more than God. We are contaminating his cross. And please hear me and understand that I'm not telling you that God will not bless you with more. I'm just telling you that he wants to be your central focus. He doesn't want anything or anyone to motivate you besides him. Not money, not nothing. He absolutely knows that we all have kids and responsibilities and he will take care of us through whatever work we do when we focus on him and honor him with our lives. Don't allow the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of money, the things of this world to cloud your judgment of who you are. Don't become impure. Don't allow the preachers and teachers in the church that are teaching us that God wants us to be rich and live lavish. He's going to bless you with this and he's going to do that for you. Yes, God will take care of us. He promised that he would take care of us, but he wants our focus to be on how do we glorify him, not on those things. In Jesus name, the Bible says to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, soul and mind. This is our first and greatest commandment. So the very first thing God commands us to do is to not contaminate his cross. Put all of our focus on him. And I love you from here to heaven.